Marrakesh. Why? Well, I have some very good reasons. Tell me. First things first. Despite being an insultingly short three and a half hours flight away, we're in a different continent and on the cusp of the Sahara Desert. And as if that shiz wasn't enough, Morocco is the world's largest exporter of tin sardines. This is the tannery. OK. Where leather goods are prepared. Is that on the walls? That's excrements. Excrements? Yeah. Right. Oh, It's God. an intense whiff. Oh, intense isn't the word. My septum's burnt out. The tanners here use medieval techniques which have been passed down through generations. The first stage of the process is to soak the goat, camel or cow skins in lime to loosen the hair. Wow, the hair is just the gliding just... off. It's like soaking a casserole dish. Well, before long, it'll be a Hoxton man bag. There's bits of my body that could do with that treatment. Yeah. It's the next stage now where they dip the skin in pigeon faeces... Right. ..to remove the lime, and that is a ramp up in odour. Oh, hello! The last time I smelt something like this, I was in the toilets of an unmanned railway station in the Midlands. After they are washed, the skins are soaked again, left to dry and finally scraped before having colour applied. The smell's still horrific, but there's more leather within it. Bono will be able to get a pair of trousers made out of these. Yep. In order to see the leather in its final state, we make haste to the sprawling city centre markets. Well, you couldn't really get more leather. <laughs> if only Paul Hogan were here, he could really stock up. There's so much leather here that some men, including the man Leonardo DiCaprio, pay locals to sift through it for them. But I'm not Leonardo DiCaprio, and if anyone's going to sift through man bags, it's going to be me. OK, this, this makes me feel like a, a 70s doctor, which I like. This is good. And how this, how this much is, is this? Like, yes. This one is only 650 dinner. 650? Well, Let me do. get my app out oh, and see how much out. that is. £46. Give me your best offer, how much? If you just let me get to 375 to make it look like I'm good at haggling, yeah. I'll give you 500 OK. Then. 500 oh, Great. I'm not even sure I want the bag. Well, Stephen, if you could pay up... Right. 